Okay, I gotta tell you a little secret. Shh. I've never had chicken salad before. Not to be confused, because when I told Bunky I was gonna make chicken salad, he thought that I was gonna get lettuce and put some chicken on I it. I thought we were gonna have a salad with chicken on it. One of my favorite deli options that are out there, right? Mm -hmm. Even when we were in uh, Shelby a yeah. few weeks ago, I had their chicken salad, which was very good. Uh, but I am... I'm excited about the version that we're making today. So we all know that I'm like, I don't want to call myself a picky eater because I really love and want to eat lots of things. I just have like texture issues. And so because of that, I have never eaten chicken salad because I don't like that mayonnaise-y texture. Although I love ranch dressing, but that's different because you're like dipping something crunchy in there. So, but for me, it's like the texture of chicken salad kind of has like not been ideal. But we're gonna change that today because I am determined I want to love chicken salad. And so I'm like, I'm gonna find some recipes that I think will have a little bit better texture, have some crunch in there, and that I will actually enjoy. So I am so excited for today. We're gonna make three different recipes. Now this first one I do have to admit is actually for Bunky, it's not for me. I saw this and I could not pass up making it because he is going to love it so much. So this first one's for him. The last two are for me, but I am so excited to try these out. So as you can see here, I already have kind of a lot of things prepped for this first one. And it's gonna be more of like a Southwest chicken salad with all of B's favorite flavors. I have a rotisserie chicken here, which makes this very easy. So I'm gonna get that added to our bowl and then we'll just start dumping everything in. That's another thing about chicken salad that I love. Just a little bit of prep work and then it all comes together in like five minutes. And I feel like for spring and summer especially, we're all like on the go, out and about, wanna take a snack to the pool or to the beach. And so chicken salad just seems like such an easy option to throw in the cooler. And that's why I really, really want to love them. And I'm so excited to like make these today. It's a picnic classic. It is. So I already have my chicken kind of like shredded up. And I do wanna tell y'all, we're gonna make like smaller portions because we are making three of these, but of course, you can like double this recipe use the full recipe we're just gonna make half recipes <laughs> <laughs> so to my chicken I'm gonna add in a little bit of drained corn and that's gonna be nice because it'll give it like a little zip of sweetness in there and then I'm gonna add in some black beans that I just rinsed black beans is one of my favorite Bean. little specialties and I feel like I don't eat them enough I was actually thinking um you know what I'm excited for? What? I saw this reel where someone laid aluminum foil down over top of the entire Blackstone, spread out a huge bag of tortilla chips, mm. and built these like amazing nachos. And if you have like the lid to the Blackstone, you just put it over top of it and it melts yeah. that cheese down. Then after everyone gets them, so it like feeds a crowd. Oh, and if you're having a little bit of a, like a gathering outdoors, you've already, like you don't have to transport everything so everybody like if you're hanging on a deck or something exactly you just got it right there that is what i'm saying yeah so like feeds a crowd great idea for like a little barbecue situation and then once everyone's done you just pull the like aluminum full up and yeah. then there's easy cleanup no mess nothing is this not genius and whoever is responsible for cleaning the blackstone appreciates that i'm gonna make this but anyway the whole reason i thought of it is because i love black beans on like my taco nachos uh-huh we gotta try that out though. Now, to this, I'm gonna add in some little, I about call these baby tomatoes. They are baby tomatoes. Are baby tomatoes. <laughs> I just like went ahead and half them. The star of the show coming in next. Yeah, so for this onion, I sliced them like paper thin and then just kind of made them bite size. So I added in a good amount of red onion because I know you will love that. Wow, yes ma'am. And then Bunky and I were saying we could smell this jalapeno. Like it is going to be spicy. Yeah, that one, that one is gonna bring the heat. So fresh jalapeno in there. And already that's just so pretty. Like I just love spring because I feel like it brings so much like color and mm -hmm. variety and just, it's so fun. So anyway, beautiful already. Now we're gonna make our sauce. We're gonna make this a little bit healthier because I have this avocado mayo, which I got in my Thrive order. I do wanna say a big thank you to Thrive for sponsoring today's video. I will um, show you guys what else I got in my order here in just a few minutes. But I'm gonna add probably, I don't know, half a cup to a cup <laughs> in here. I'd say half a cup. Enough to like make it juicy. And then I'm gonna add the juice of a lime, which is gonna give it that like fresh zip. And then for our seasonings, we're gonna do some garlic, a little bit of cumin, some chili powder, and I'll also add a little bit of salt and pepper in there. This 
mayo needs just a little bit more lime juice. Kind of thin it out, so I'm gonna do a big squeeze. I love that you can see all the specks of those seasonings in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just looks so good. And it smells good. So just add your dressing right into your bowl. Um, this recipe did call for, am I saying this right, Bunky? Papitas? Yeah. Papitas? Um, I looked for them in the grocery store and I couldn't find them. I was so bummed, but I bet that would give like a great little crunch to this. Yeah, there was some, uh, there was some snack mix that we used to get sometimes and it would have papitas in it. Uh -huh. and you would pick through basically <laughs> and get all the papitas out. That's and then, right. And then I'd go back to it sometime later <laughs> on and be like, where's all the papitas? Yes, I remember. So if you can find them at your grocery store, add those in as well. Bunk, this just looks so delicious. Oh yeah. You are gonna love this. Okay, that is it, so easy. You're telling me that I'm about to have Southwest chicken salad that quickly. Yes, you know what I love about this? Mm. Mm. So we have some like iceberg lettuce. If you have like butter cups, you do it too. But we're gonna yeah. put it in like a lettuce cup because I think that will be just like a nice fresh crunch on there. A great a great uh, method of transfer from the, the hand to the mouth. Yeah, but you could also eat it on a sandwich. But also, I feel like this would be really good with some tortilla chips. Ooh, just yeah. to eat it almost like, not a dip, but kinda, you know? I forgot an ingredient. It's always supposed to have smoked paprika in I, there. I just knew there was something missing in here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this in there. And that's gonna give it a little bit more, uh, like smokiness. Smokiness and bring in a little more color to this. Yeah. That's so good. Presentation on point. For real though, I do think the uh, the lettuce wrap is the perfect vessel for consuming this. Yeah. Like you're getting taco vibes, but you're having chicken salad. A lot of times chicken salad comes placed on a nice little piece of lettuce. Yeah. So. This is a healthier version with all the same good flavors. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. You're speaking my language, monkey. Those are all of your favorite things. That is delicious. When I saw this, I was like, my Bunky is going to love it. I had to make it for you. Definitely. This is so, so good. A nice little spin and change up on the traditional versions that are out there. Because a lot of uh, like regular versions of chicken salad, pardon me while I finish chewing. <laughs> I think a lot of chicken salads out there that you get, they're sometimes like on the sweeter side. Like yeah. I'm, one of the ones we're gonna make here in a minute, it's gonna have a little bit more of a sweeter element to right. it. But this one, more savory and delicious. And I would highly recommend getting those papitas in there. Oh, I thought Because that so would good. actually provide a nice little textural change. Yeah. But I mean, catching a little bean, corn, jalapeno. So good. It's smooth and creamy. Love it. Perfection. It's kind of like a light, like a lighter lunch. Oh yeah. Filling. This is so good, and it like kind of for a couple days you can enjoy it. Go to the fridge, get the fork out, just have a couple bites. I mean, <laughs> okay, are you struggling to find affordable groceries? Because, same, <laughs> this is why I love Thrive Market so incredibly much. On average, I save around $27 per order, and I think for the year I've saved like $126 already. Cannot beat that, and it's delivered right to my door. Orders over $49 ship for free. When I actually go into a grocery store, half the time I cannot find what I am looking for or their variety of like healthier options isn't there. And on Thrive, you can go in and shop by diet. If you are doing gluten-free, if you're doing Whole30, whatever your diet is or your preference, if you want paleo, whatever it is, you can go on and search by diet. You guys know Bunky and I are trying to eat healthier this year, and so we've been trying to make lots of those swaps. But healthier food usually means higher prices in groceries, but not on Thrive Market. I cannot recommend this to you guys enough. So to shop on Thrive Market, you do have to be a member, and you can do month to month, which is $12 a month, or you can be billed annually, which is what Bunky and I do, and it's $59.95, which comes out to $5 a month. And here's the best part. Over that year, if you do not get at least 60 
dollars in savings, which you will. <laughs> but if you were to just for some reason not, Thrive will reimburse you the difference of how much you didn't make to that $60. They are so sure you are gonna save money shopping with them and I can attest to the fact that you absolutely will. For instance, you guys know, I order these in every single Thrive order and I will tell you why. They're my favorite chips, as I told you guys a hundred times, the Siete Sea Salt and Vinegar. At a normal grocery store, I see them in there. They are $5.49, I priced this out. And on Thrive Market, I get them for $3.99. That is a huge difference. My salt that I love so very much, it's about 20 to 30 cents cheaper, if not more sometimes, than any other place that I can find it. All of those things just start to add up and you cannot put a price tag on those savings. We've also been trying to eat more organic products and I just love that there is such a huge variety of organic products through Thrive Market. So when shopping on Thrive Market, you can visit their website or they have a mobile app, which makes it really simple. And you are buying the highest quality of grocery essentials from the comfort of your home. So you can click the link below in my description box, or you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica O'Donohue to get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $60, but that is not all. Now is a great time to sign up because in addition to my 30% off, Thrive is running a huge sale this week on their gluten-free and low sugar essentials. So be sure you head on there click that link and go check it out. So for this next recipe, I know a lot of you, especially chicken salad connoisseurs out there, are gonna be like, Jess, this is just like a Waldorf. <laughs> Daisy salad so bad. She smells the chicken. Yeah, y'all are gonna be like, this is just a Waldorf chicken salad, but I'll have you know it is not. There is a secret ingredient in this, which is why I chose this recipe to try, because I've become such a fan of cottage cheese, as you guys know. Ooh. Now, our grocery store didn't have my good culture, which I really love, but the Daisy brand will be fine. Um, but anyway, this recipe, instead of using a lot of mayonnaise, they use cottage cheese, which that's gonna give you even more protein. It's gonna be healthier. So all around, I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy this version of like a Waldorf chicken salad. So down here, I just have my red grapes and I'm just kind of quartering them so they're bite sized. And then I have some celery over here and I really like paper thin basically slice this because I don't mind celery, but I don't love it. <laughs> so if I'm going to bite into it, which I do think it needs to be in there for like that crunch element. Um, I just want it to be thinner. You, slice it, the celery. You, you like, it's like you want it in there, but you don't want to really huge, know it's there. Yeah, I don't want a huge like chunk of celery bite. Okay. So over here we have our chicken, which Bunky so kindly put in our food processor and got us a really mm -hmm. <laughs> finely chopped chicken. So to my chicken, I'm gonna add in my grapes and celery. And then this is like a really easy shortcut. Bunky grabbed me this bag of like sliced almonds and cranberries because you want both of those in there. So this is like a little salad topper. It just comes with both, which makes it really easy. Are you proud of me for finding the dual? That was this? good. I was, I saw like one and then the other and I thought, wait a minute. There's both of them together. Yeah. So we're going this route. And see, I like this recipe too because I love grapes and I love like almonds and cranberries and that flavor. It'll give kind of like a little bit of sweetness. The dried cranberry is going to bring a nice little chew. Yes. Agreed. So we're still going to use a little bit of mayo in here. So I'm going to use the avocado mayo again. Did you like this? The mayo? Oh yeah. I forgot to mention that when I uh, was eating my Southwest version. Yeah. It was so, so good. Oh, good. Like not missing a thing. It actually, um, I think it almost made it taste better. Oh. It just tasted more pure and clean. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, good. So I'm kind of like, um, I told you guys, not doing like this whole recipe. So I'm just gonna put like two small tablespoons in there. The good thing about chicken salad is you can either make like as much as we are right now, or you can make an entire bucket of it. <laughs> yeah. It can feed a crowd or it can feed a couple. That's right. Okay, so now for my favorite part, this cottage cheese. And y'all, I just become such a fan. I know some people don't love it. I love it. So I'm gonna put probably two bigger size spoonfuls in here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. See, this to me is like the perfect texture and consistency because it's not like overly moist. 
for all the people who hate that word. It's not like too mayonnaise -y. It just is like barely held together, but held together. Mm -hmm. That looks really delicious. It does. So this is how I'm going to eat mine. Bunky just like made me a little piece of buttered toast with some sourdough bread. And I'm going to just do kind of like an open face little sandwich. I took a little bite of the chicken just to make sure it was seasoned really well and it's like perfect. So I'm so excited to try this. I was just trying to take a picture and Bunky's over here already eating his. <laughs> This is really, really good as well. You like it? Mm hmm Now, since you are a fan of chicken salad, have you ever had chicken salad with cottage cheese? And what do you think of the texture? We lost a piece of celery here. I think this one being that it has the sour, uh, sour cream, that it has the cottage cheese in it, a little bit of the, the finer chicken style is the way you want to go. Yeah. Um, the cottage cheese brings a very welcome update you like it to the chicken salad game for me but have you ever had something with cottage cheese i'm gonna say no right i thought that was like such a unique whenever i found that recipe i was like wow i gotta make yeah, this yeah but i like it like, yeah it's it's really good i think it's a nice little maybe a, maybe even call it a modern day update to Ooh. the old traditional waldorf chicken salad okay let me try it all right so we're all here as Bunky venture, ventures into the world of chicken salad. First time we're over here. <laughs> Her life is about to change and everybody's going to witness it. I'm very excited. That was good. Good stuff, right? Mmm. So I'm telling you, sorry. Pepper just got me so bad back in my throat. <laughs> oh, speaking of ice water. Okay, so if you have not made a chicken salad with cottage cheese, highly suggest because the texture is actually wonderful and the little bits of cranberries and almonds in there I love like it's just such a little burst of flavor I haven't gotten a bite with a grape yet but I can tell you I'm gonna love that as well mm -hmm. but this is so good and I love eating it on a piece of toast like I think like that makes it even better yeah I have been just really on like the search for easy healthier lunches because Monkey and I both work from home and I want something that I can grab that's gonna like fill me up but be good for me and so I feel like this is one of those recipes that is like easy go to I'm yeah. so excited to make this over getting and over some again. fruits fruits veggies yeah. a little protein from the cottage cheese and chicken yes I want to try the grape mmm that's where the it's grape at, makes it, it juicy Mm -hmm. Now, y'all already know this about me, but I love buffalo chicken anything. So when I'm scrolling Pinterest and I see a buffalo chicken salad, is that how you would say it? Buffalo chicken salad. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yes, I have to make that one because out of any of them, I know I'm going to love this one. Now, this is also probably the easiest one. It's just truly a few little ingredients. I already have my chicken in here that we put in the food processor. And then to this one, I'm going to add in some celery. You could also do like some diced green onions in here if you wanted to, to give like a little bit more flavor. And then to this, I'm going to add in my favorite buffalo sauce. And I like it spicy, so I don't mind if it's a little more <laughs> buffalo than anything else. Now for this, you can do mayonnaise or sour cream. I'm actually going to do a little bit of sour cream and then a little bit of cottage cheese to add a little bit more protein in here. So like kind of like a big tablespoon of that and a big tablespoon of my cottage cheese. Y'all, that's it. It is literally that simple. Hold though. I have this Kinder's Buffalo seasoning and I love it. I was even thinking you could put some blue cheese in here, but since this has that blue cheese flavor, I'm gonna put a little bit of this seasoning in here just to give it even more flavor. Oh, that is spicy. Y'all, it's that simple. You talk about a recipe that comes together in less than five minutes. Like the first one, I'm gonna eat this in a little lettuce cup because I think that'll be really good and refreshing. But he was like, you already done making that? I was like, yeah, it was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard you down here constructing everything. Uh-huh. You brought a little extra heat to the party. I did, it's, it's a little spicy. So simple, but so good. Again, love the cottage cheese. And I feel like the lettuce, is the way to go with this because it's so refreshing with like all that spice. But I love that like the chicken is cold, 
The lettuce is cold. Just tastes like something I want to eat on like a warm day. <laughs> that is very nice. It's good. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, if you're like me and you're a fan of buffalo anything, especially like buffalo chicken dip, but you want a way to like have that buffalo flavor mm. in a much healthier version, this is the way to go. I Tell think us. that everyone should make all three of these mm -hmm. and just have the variety yes. for everybody to pick and choose what flavor that's like, true. You know, whatever somebody's preference may be. That's actually really smart. Like, you could totally meal prep all of this on a Sunday. It would take you, like, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then your family can pick, like, which one they want to have throughout the week. You have lunches ready to go, snacks. Such a good idea, B. All right, so I'll have all of these recipes linked down below for you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. I hope you try these recipes. Also, don't forget to check out Thrive. I'll have all the information down below as well. Such a great deal for you guys. I hope you try it and love it. We love Thrive. I know you will. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.